I am Mohammad Raji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on personal identifier information or PIA. So we have been discussing with respect to Azure text analytics. So this is my uh, fourth video or fifth video with respect to Azure text analytics or in this video and in this video we will be discussing on how can we extract or how can we identify the personal informations from an unstructured document. Okay. So PAA feature can identify, categorize or redact the sensitive information in an unstructured text. So for example, we can uh, identify phone numbers and email address and forms identification. These are the few examples with respect to PAA. So there are uh, two categories of PAs are available. One is the PA is work with unstructured data and other one is a conversation PAA. So this model is actually for the user, for user in the conversational transcription scenarios. So basic use cases, we will be using PIA is one of the use cases to label or identify the PA information. This may occur in some cases or in some cases we may have to remove the PIA information before we publicly, maybe pub publicly release it. Okay, this may be needed in the healthcare domain. That is one of the example. And we may need to clean up the documents for the data science. Okay, which means like we may have to do remove the personal information or SSN number before we do the training. Okay, we, before we do the model training. Okay, so these are the few use cases where we apply the PIA labeling. So Azure uh, PIA uh, uses the following cat or identify the following categories. Uh, one is person, person type, phone number, organization address, email, URL, IP address and date and time. Okay. Quantity and it also identify the financial account number, financial account number and which will the next is it will identify the ABI routing number. So ABI routing is American bank, I think association routing number, something like that. The SIF code is also is a, uh, related to the bank transaction. Okay. Then it will identify the credit card number and it will identify the IBAN number. So it is International Banking Association number. It will also identify the government, country, region and all those things it will identify. So it has like a nearly 14 to 15 um, categories that our, our Azure Analytics will identify. Okay. So this is in high level with Azure PIA. Okay. Now we can do some sample code. So for that, I highly recommend to look into my first video that is sentiment analysis in which in that video I have discussed about how can we create a resources in Azure, uh, maybe in, a, in an Azure portal. Okay. So in this video, let me open this. Okay. Here, first we can define a key. Now we can discuss the endpoint. We can find the endpoint. So this can be found out from the Azure portal. Okay. So when we go to the home page, we will have a resource screen. Let me open my resource screen. Okay. Here we can see that keys and endpoint. From this keys and endpoint, I can copy the endpoint. I can paste it here, my endpoint. Now I can copy my key, key can be used here, okay. So we have our keys and endpoint, now we can do few imports. So from Azure AA text analytics, we can import text analytics client, so here we can import lot of, we can, then we can from core okay we can import credentials assure key credential so here we can define a method that is to get a authenticated client here we can define a text analyst credential here i can mention assure credential here I can pass my key okay. 
now we can define our text analysis client so this will be my text analyst client here i can pass the endpoint now i can pass the credential here so once that is done i can return my text analysis client so this this method will return our client <coughs> okay so here i can get the client by calling authenticate client so i will get a authenticate client now we can define few documents okay so consider these are my document i can say that the employee the employee's ssn is 859 98 and again 0987 so this is my one document and i can say that uh, the employees phone number is 555 now i can give one more document the employees name is john dog okay so this is my document now we can pass this to a PA object so I can create a client so from client we can uh, see that recognize PA entities here I can pass document now I can pass the language so my language is English okay so we will have our um, response okay so once we have response we can check we can select only the document without any errors okay so that is for docking response if not doc okay is error okay so we will have the result now we can look through the result so here we have a docking result now we can print redacted text okay so this will be my redacted text this will be dot dot redacted text now i can look through the entity also so we can entity in dot dot entities here we can print the category can print the category as entity dot category okay now Yes, maybe I can print the confidence score. Here I can print the confidence score. Here I can paste it again. Maybe let me make this C apps. Okay, here I can make entity also. Entity is missing. Here we can make the entity. Okay. Now we can execute the code. Python PIA dot PY. Okay. So we can see the result. <coughs> see here in the first document. Okay. PA entity subjects no attribute called entity. I am getting an error here. Uh, entity dot. Okay, there is no entity it's a text now let me execute it again okay here what we can see here in the first text is the employees ssn is so these two things are removed from here okay 
and it's a person type and this is the user association in the same case also it, it is also like employees a category a person type that is also removed from here and phone number is removed here it is removed the person that is the person type is employee that is also removed and person is also removed okay so that is actually masked with some star star okay and we can see that this confidence code so we can see okay 0 0.9 is the confidence code is also very high so this is actually working in a uh, really good accuracy okay so so you guys can also try it with different options okay so i believe everybody understood uh, in this scenario we will use the pia and it's all its implementation with the python okay so that is all about in this video so please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye